Hi, my name is Dalton Ray, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to bait a hook. The only thing you're going to need for this is your rod and reel, some fishing line, and whatever bait you want to use. Now, I use these things called swivels because you're only going to have to tie your line on at one time, and you can change out as many baits as you want to with it, and you don't have to keep untying and tying your line on. Now, I use what's called a fisherman's knot. You just run it through the eye, and then you pull it back out and you twist it up about four or five times. And you get what's left and you pull it back down through the loop that you made with the rest of the line. Now the first bait I'm gonna use is what's called a crappie jig. And for this you're gonna need a jig head hook. I'm just gonna put that on the swivel. Now you can use any kind of color crappie jig you want, it's just whatever you're feeling. Now you put the head end of the crappie jig onto your hook and you just slide it through without letting the hook come out of the bait. And when you get to the end of the bait, you let your hook out and then slide it up all the way onto the head where the tail is sticking out this way and just a little bit of your hook is sticking out of the bait. And you probably want to test it in the water, just run it through the water make sure the tail is working right. There's really not much to this bait, you just cast and reel in. Now the other kind of bait is another commonly used one, it's a bass worm. Now it's used a little different. You get a pretty good size hook, big enough for the worm to fit on. You put that on your swivel. Now, just pick any kind of worm you like. And like the same one on the crappie jig, you just put the head at the end of the hook without letting the hook go through. You just slide it up about an inch or two, and then you let the hook out, and you slide just that part of the worm all the way up your hook. Now the second part to this is, you get with the bottom of your worm, and you stretch it out, and you just barely put it on your hook enough where the hook goes in but it won't come out. That way when it's sitting at the bottom you just pop it with your fishing rig. And those are the two commonly used ways to bait a hook.